How many of you have heard of the Montessori silence game? It isn't something that is very commonly spoken about, but it's something that we very commonly practice in our classrooms, and many people practice this at home too, and I'm going to tell you about it. I know you're going to love it, and it's going to be something that you will practice regularly with your children. Now, the silence game is something that Maria Montessori came about quite by accident. Uh, what happened is that one of the teachers in the casa she was pregnant and then she went away to have her baby and when her baby was four months old she brought the baby back to the classroom to see the children and Maria Montessori held this tiny sleeping quiet baby and all these 40 children flocked around to look at this baby and Dr. Montessori said just on the spur of the moment do you think we can be as still as this baby how many of us can do that look at this baby She's not moving, she's not making any noise. Can we do that? And so she brought them to this place where the children became quiet. She asked them to close their eyes and then gently she called them out of it by whispering each of their names. Now what she realized after this is there was a whole different energy to the children. They became so calm, they were able to focus on their work and go into deeper concentration that she actually developed it into becoming an activity in the Montessori classroom called the silence game or making silence. And what the teachers would do is that they would, if they felt, you know, things were getting a little bit rowdy, then they would whisper the word silence or in what some classrooms what they do is they have a beautiful picture of an, you know, something beautiful in nature, a lake or snow capped mountains and on the back it's written silence. They would turn it over and there would be silence there and when the children would notice this, they would all go into a quiet, calm, still state and one child would see the other and the other and it would kind of spread and the children would calm down and then their names would be whispered and they could go back to their work. A lot of people who hear about this for the first time think, no, that could never work with children. Children can't, you know, uh, be still and not move. Now we're not talking about 30 minutes or five minutes, even 30 seconds to start with is good. Moving your way on up to maybe 45 seconds, a minute, two minutes would be amazing. It would work brilliantly. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, just doing this at home with two young children. Have a look and then we'll talk about it a little more. So children, today we're going to learn how to play the silence game. We're going to make silence. Have you ever seen a little baby sleeping? Mm -hmm. Do they make noise? Mm -mm. Do they move a lot? Mm -mm. They're very still, right? So I'm going to count to three and then we're going to be really quiet mm -hmm. and still like a baby and let's listen to the sounds around us, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's take a deep breath in, breathe and breathe out and gently close your eyes, hands on your knees, really quiet and just quietly listen to the sounds around you. And when I whisper your name, then you'll open your eyes, okay? Anna, Sasha. Okay, what kind of things did you hear? Only the AC. Just Only the AC. It was very quiet today, right? I heard a little sound from the kitchen. Did any of you hear that? Yeah, yeah. I heard the, and then I also heard cars and motorcycles. Right. When we make ourselves really quiet, then we can hear all the things that sometimes miss can our attention. Can we do attention. it one more time? Sure, we can do it one more time. I was, it looked like I was sleeping. Yeah, it makes you relaxed. Sometimes whenever you're feeling a bit, you know, restless inside and you want to become calm, you can play this by yourself, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to try and do this every day, okay? All okay. right, thank you. Can we do it one more time? Sure, we can. That wasn't too difficult to do, right? It was pretty easy. Of course, there will be some children who are more rest restless. There are some children to whom it will come easier. There are some children who don't feel comfortable closing their eyes in the beginning or maybe not at all. We do not have to push them. We have to slowly allow them to get there. Normally, when I have a child who's particularly restless and they don't want to close their eyes, I tell them that, 
if you don't close your eyes i can't whisper your name so you've got to close your eyes and they'll try it's really hard for some children but it's okay as adults we can see when they're putting in the effort and they're really trying to make it work as long as they can be still and calm and quiet for those you know half a minute to a minute it really really brings a difference to the energy of your classroom it's what helps to get our class our children towards normalization uh, for those of you who haven't already learned about normalization i will link it over here right above and i will also put the link to that video in the comments in the description box below so you can watch that this is how they will get to you know that state of being able to take themselves to a deeper level of concentration it's a lot of fun it's very simple what we do typically in a Montessori classroom is at the beginning of the day after we've had our circle time it can get pretty lively and pretty active and we want the children to get to a bit of a calmer state before they go into doing their Montessori work so in the circle we bring everybody to silence and we um, gently do it by taking a few breaths in and out and ask them to close their eyes and we allow them to sit in silence you know for 30 minutes to, uh, 30 seconds to a minute um, there are some days you can't even make it that long it depends on the ch ch children's group energy whether you can so don't you know st say to yourself no I have to do a full minute I've got to do two minutes every day is different it really depends you know on children's energy and then we start after about 30 seconds we whisper the child's name so they're especially quiet because they're waiting to hear their name and then they will get up and they will walk and pick up their work from the shelf this also reduces the chaos of everybody rushing from circle time to the shelves to grab their favorite activity and you know getting into scuffles and things like that it allows for more organization we always tell the children that when you hear your name being whispered you can walk to the shelf take your mat and choose your material that you'd like to start working on so it really is a very peaceful way to begin your day dr montessori so beautifully said about the silence game when the children have become acquainted with silence they go on to perfect themselves they walk lightly they take care not to knock against the furniture move their chairs without noise and place things upon the table with great care. These children are serving their spirits. Isn't that beautiful? And you too will see that, how there comes a sense of self-control to your child after they've played the silence game. Try it out. I hope you will try this out. You will be surprised by the benefits you will see, the levels of calm. It's something you can do a few times a day. Maybe, you know, before dinner time, you know, your children have been playing and you want them to get to a calmer level before we have dinner or just before bedtime. Anytime you feel it's appropriate, you can get into it. You don't want to do it when it's very, very chaotic because it can be hard to bring the children down from a very, very chaotic level. So pick and choose your times wisely. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments below. If you've had success in doing this, I would love to hear about it. So again, let me know in the comments. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel and click on the notifications so that you don't miss a single video. And do like this video if you've enjoyed it. And until we meet again, have a beautiful day.